Okay, welcome to the Bernier UK Haygate Test Bakery. Today we're going to make some scones. Uh, just put some simple ingredients inside just to show a few different uh, ideas. So in the bowl I've got some flour, butter, sugar, baking powder ready to go. Uh, that's already just started to blend that down just to break the butter down. So all I'm going to do now is start to add the wet ingredients, which is all the eggs. Put those in. Just blend those in first of all. The secret of a good scone is not to over mix it. So just get that in partly. Then I'm going to add some buttermilk. Now again, the same as bread, flour varies in consistency. So sometimes you need to add a little bit more liquid, but I'll gauge that as we go along. Get this in, so the easiest thing to get in. So that's just blend, blending it together. I need to add a little bit more liquid, I'll know in a second. Okay, so this is an apricot and almond scone. So, you're limited really only by your own imagination. You can put anything in, cherry and coconut, walnuts, sunflower seeds. Just blend it together so it's not over mixed. I've always found the secret with a good scone is not to over mix it and not to use a rolling pin. You see a lot of people do it. When I first started college, the first six weeks we spent making scones. So, so I found as time has gone on, you can very rarely buy a decent scone nowadays, they're all processed through machines. This is a nice thick scone, cut with a cutter, placed on the tray. I remember an old friend telling me not to use a rolling pin handle the dough as little as possible and keep it nice and light so these will come up really well and make a nice soft scone I can always remember him saying treat a scone dough like you'd want to treat a lady and all I can say is I've been married a long time <laughs> so there we go So nice and easy, very quick. And the other secret to making a good scone is giving them a bit of time to rest. So we'll put these in a rack, egg washed, and then we'll go back to them later. About 20 minutes rest, baked in a good hot oven. So again, just pulling the dough together Possibly get all these on one tray. So there we go, just egg washed. That's how quick and simple it is, really, once you've got them mixed up. Okay, another good tip for making a scone look really, really nice is to egg wash them at this stage. Just put them in a, a rack to recover for about 20 minutes. Just before you put them in the oven, give them another egg wash. And then you get that lovely gloss on the top. So there, a few, few minutes, got some simple scones made. So now we've got cherry and coconut. And again, nice soft mix. No rolling pins. I'm going to keep the surface flour to the table. Get 
a nice thick scone. So it's got coconut right through this. See these for sale too much in shops these days. Um, I mean, they're sort of factory produced ones, and I think probably the decline is the standard that you can buy is not as good as it used to be. It's people are machine making them rather than hand making them. So again, these will need to rest for a little while, just to recover. Baked in a good hot oven, 200 degrees, for about 15 to 20 minutes, and they'll be ready. There we go, so that's scone rings already. Okay, so these have had a bit of time to rest now, so all I've done is re egg wash them, ready to bake about 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll see what the marks are finished. So uh, deck of them, perfect for this. So there's scone rings. Cherry and coconut. 